The Three Great Spears of Japan are a collection of individual spears created by some of the greatest Japanese blacksmiths of all time. Collectively known as the Tenkasen Meiso, the spears are some of the most revered weapons in all of Japan and were owned by some of the most powerful figures in Japanese history. The first of these legendary spears is known as the Nihongo. Believed to have been created during the Muromachi period, it features a long blade with an engraving of a Buddhist depiction of a Kurikara dragon wrapping itself around a sword at the base. It also had a lacquered wooden shaft and was well adorned with fine fittings. Despite its grand image, the Nihongo was most likely not used in battle. There is one rumor, however, that it was taken overseas during the invasion of Korea in 1592 by Mori Tomonobu, where it survived fierce battles. Unfortunately, there is no solid evidence to prove this. The first owner of the Nihongo was the 106th Emperor, Ogimachi. He then bestowed it onto Ashikaga Yoshiaki, where it remained for a while until he formed a working relationship with Oda Nobunaga around 1570. Sources say that Oda Nobunaga learned about the spear's origin, it being a treasured weapon from the Imperial Palace, and demanded it from Ashikaga Yoshiaki, to the point where they almost went to war just for the sake of it. In any event, Oda Nobunaga would successfully claim the Nihongo, and at some point pass the spear down to his successor, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Later down the generations, the spear would pass hands in the most peculiar ways, from someone winning it in a drinking game, all the way to an individual buying the spear for a thousand yen. It would, however, finally end up in a museum in Fukuoka Prefecture, where it is said to be till this day. The next spear is an interesting one, both in name and design. It is called the Otakine, which means tampering mallet. It was created during the Muromachi period by Gojo Yoshisuke, who belonged to a well-known swordsmith clan in Shimadashi, Suruga province, and it was made at the request of Yuki Harusaki, Lord of Yuki Castle. Out of the three legendary spears, the Otakine is known to not only be the longest, but also the heaviest of the three spears. While its blade was tempered extremely well and has potential of being effective on the battlefield, its sheer size and weight made it too cumbersome to be used proficiently. While it may not have been used in actual warfare, the Otagine was symbolic and showed one's status when heading to the battlefield. It is said that it would often be brought from Yuki Castle to the commander's camp and used like a banner carried next to the commander's horse right before going into battle. There were even occasions during 1635 when Tokugawa Iemitsu, the third shogun of the Tokugawa Bakufu, had the Otagine brought out and used as a symbolic lead during official processions by those of the Yuki clan and Matsudaira clan on their way to Edo. In the Matsudaira clan, they believe in two legends about the Otagine. The first stating that when the sheath is removed, snowflakes will fall, and the second is that it will rain when it's leading a procession on the way to Edo. The Otegine's last whereabouts was it was in the possession of the Matsudaira clan, but was destroyed in the bombings of Tokyo in 1945. The third treasured spear is known as the Tombokiri, and unlike the other two spears, this one is renowned for its overall performance on the battlefield. It was created in the Muromachi period, and was crafted by Fujiwara Masazane, a sword maker from the Muromasa Swordsmith School in Ise province. The name Tombokiri means Dragon Slayer. The name derives itself from a myth that a dragonfly once landed on the tip of the spear and was cut into two. The owner of the Tombokiri was Honda Tadakatsu, who was a legend in his own right. Tadakatsu was one of Tokugawa Ieyasu's most trusted and loyal retainers during the Sengoku period. A large man in stature since his youth, it is said he was a force to be reckoned with in combat, as he participated in as many as 57 battles during his lifetime, and was said to have never sustained any damage during his military career. For his service, Tadakatsu was among Ieyasu's top 16 generals, and was named one of the four heavenly kings. While it's not recorded that Tadakatsu's successful career was all thanks to the Tombokiri, there's little argument that he did take it and use it in battle. In historical records, along with Tadakatsu's achievements due to his undying loyalty to Tokugawa Ieyasu, his prowess with the spear was noted. After Tadakatsu's death, the spear was passed down his family line to his descendants for several generations to where it is today, in the safekeeping of a museum in Shizuoka, Japan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment down below any ideas for future videos. See you next time.